Okay, it's Kevin here. I'm going to take a look at um, an essay somebody posted in the group yesterday. First things first, I have to show you my disclaimer. This is not for you. This is for anybody who uh, may think the question is uh, is copyrighted. So that's just something I have to put there. Now, I'm going to be referring to my own version. It's a modified version of a public. So this is like both the public and private versions of a writing band descriptors. Again, it's for teaching purposes, so don't give me any grief in terms of copyright. This is this is uh, what I'll be referring to when talking about the essay. Now, here's the essay. So, some people believe that reading stories from ebook or from an ebook is better than watching TV or playing computer games for children. To what extent do you agree? Or disagree so first things first check the word count see what what we've got 267 ah, it's a little bit low 300 or just under is better than you can properly develop your main ideas 250 ish that's a little bit low you know you can write a good high band scoring essay but uh, if it's too if it's too low there's a problem that you're not properly developing because, you know, the criteria says you have to introduce your main ideas, uh, extend them and support them. Directly answers the question, fully developed all parts of a task, etc. So the more that you can develop your ideas, the better your task response score will be. Okay. There is an opinion that children should read stories from ebook and watching TV or playing computer games as reading ebooks having more positive outcomes. Okay, okay. So now there is an opinion. When it says some people, it's easier to just say according to some. You can paraphrase just like that. According to some, children should read stories from ebooks or an ebook watching TV or playing computer games as reading e ebooks has more positive outcomes. I strongly agree with this assertion. Okay, good. Now the next thing is it's not a discussion. It's not a discussion. It's asking you to state your opinion. Reasons. Okay. So, what you can do, so, sentence one, you paraphrase the topic. According to some, children should read stories, blah, 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 blah. The other thing is, though, you've got to watch this because you need to paraphrase a little bit more because, look, should read stories, reading stories from ebooks, from watching TV or playing computer games. If you've got too many words that are the same, The examiner will cross them out. Read stories from ebooks, reading stories. Okay, so you need to paraphrase that a little bit more. So, according to some, let me have a look. What could we do uh, for that? According to some, uh, instead of spending time on TV or computer games, children need or it is more beneficial for children to read from an ebook or ebook so you can change your word order you know you can change the form of the words reading into read stories into story um watching tv or viewing tv or spending time on tv or playing games computer games you could you know you could change things uh, around and then you need to give some idea so you 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 could say i strongly agree with this assertion because reading stories enhances children's reading skills and helps them to uh, to learn so you could you know you could do that in a single sentence so you could put this you, you could essentially condense this into a single sentence and then spend more time 
in your paragraphs to develop your main ideas. Now, one thing. One of the main reasons why children should read stories from ebooks is this will help to enhance their reading skills. So reading from ordinary books won't help to enhance their reading skills. I think you've missed the point. And I don't know where you got this topic from. You have to be careful. Because what's the difference between an e-book or a book? Reading is is reading. So, I, you know, I don't even know if this is a properly or correctly worded uh, a topic. Because what's the difference between reading from an e-book or an ordinary book? If it's simply... Uh, you will, you know, that children will improve their reading skills and they will learn more. Well, they can do that from a normal book. Why specifically does it have to be an e-book? So I'm not really sure about this question. If it simply said some people believe that reading stories from books is better, then okay, yeah, that makes sense. But from an e-book, now what you sometimes see. It'll say something like, uh, it's better for children to read from e-books instead of paper books. Or vice versa, or something about what's the difference between e-books e and paper books. And, you know, for that kind of a question, uh, you might say that paper books are better because staring at the screen of an e-book might cause eye damage from the light or something, you know what I mean? So I'm not quite sure if this question is um, correct or not, but we'll um, see. So uh, this will help to enhance their reading skills. So why specifically from an e-book? Why not just from an ordinary book? Many a time, children are confronting many problems that are associated with reading skills, such as what? What problems? What you mean they cannot read? Therefore, if they learn or read from ebooks, then they will certainly enhance their reading skills. Well, who said so? This is basically a circular argument. So, one of the main reasons why children should read from ebooks, it will help to enhance their reading skills. Therefore, if they read from it, that's a, it's it's circular. It's not it's not actually going anywhere. It's not actually going anywhere. You know, one well, of the main reasons why children should read stories from e uh, from from ebooks as as opposed to what to ordinary books enhance their reading skills. Okay, so many problems. Why is it many? What what kind of problems that are associated with reading skills? And what exactly are reading skills? Therefore, and there is no therefore. If they learn or read from ebooks, then then. Who, who says they will certainly enhance their reading skills? If, they, if they're having trouble with reading in the first place, then how exactly will reading from an e-book as opposed to reading a magazine or an actual book, how exactly will that enhance their reading skills? Surely the act of reading in itself, regardless of what they read, will help them with their reading skills. So that doesn't really explain anything about e-books. This has been experienced in the UK. Who says so? Who, how, when, where, why? Where children who read from e-books in the brain computer games find no problem in reading as compared to their counterparts. What, who put... So this basically tells me nothing. It's a circular argument. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't really answer any kind of question it's just going round and round and round and how many times are you going to say reading skills reading it so let's just try right, so mm, 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 mm. just for you your vocab here reading skills reading skills reading skills reading skills Do we have anything else about reading skills how many other times have we used reading skills Mm. So you got reading stories, you know, oh, okay, so it's a couple of times anyway. All right, so, uh, so reading even stories, why even stories? 
Reading stories from the e from the e book. You mean from an e book? Is better than watching TV or playing computer games, as this increases children's knowledge. Knowledge of what? So you can't gain any kind of knowledge from watching TV. Are you sure that there's nothing children can learn from watching TV? What about, I mean, if you're talking about if they spend all day watching cartoons, then maybe not. But you don't say that. They could be watching the news or documentaries or some historical films. Simply the act of watching TV in itself doesn't mean anything. Or playing computer games. Well, it depends what games are you talking about. If they're playing stuff like, uh, I don't even know what the current games are. If they're playing some pff, shoot 'em up such as, as uh as Fortnite, okay, I can see your point. But there's many educational computer games in the world where they can learn how to add up. They can learn some foreign language, English, some grammar, you know. So without specifically saying what computer games, again, that is not an argument. When children read stories from ebooks, then they acquire knowledge from various stories. Again, what does that mean? Knowledge of what? What are you talking about? What stories are you talking about? They could be reading about, um, what's that thing? Um, a Peppa Pig in an e, in an e-book. So what knowledge are we going to learn? For example, if they're reading an e-book about a Peppa Pig, what are they going to learn? So that doesn't that doesn't actually work either as an argument. For example, a recent re report by whom, how, where, what, why indicates that children from who are reading stories from it. So this it, again, it, it's circular. It's just going round and round, saying the same thing in a slightly different way. Reading stories from e-books have. More knowledge than children. Again, what knowledge, what TV, what playing games? You're using the same language, you're saying the same thing time and time and again. Thus, reading stories from ebooks is advantageous. Well, who says so? It depends what ebooks you are, uh, are reading. To a sum up, it's widely accepted. No, it's not. Where does it say that? The children, which is from watching TV. Can you also see here? You're saying the same thing. Regions so of me e books and watching TV are playing computer games. Prefer ebook instead of time of computer games or TV. Said the same thing again. Can knowledge, you said the same thing again. Reading skills again. You're just saying the same thing about five or six different times. That's not an essay. Oh. Reading stuff oh, around. Uh yeah. Reading stories from e-books have more knowledge as thus reading stories from e from e-books. Okay. Children should read stories from e-book watching TV. They should prefer e-book instead of spending time computer games or t or TV. When children read stories from e-books, you've said that once. Reading stories from e-book is better than watching TV or playing computer games. How is this an essay when you're saying the same thing? Over and over and over again. This increases children's knowledge. They acquire knowledge from various stories. You're just saying the same thing again and again and again. Children who read the me books since playing Pandit and watching TV again. Uh, if they learn or read from me books, haven't you? Haven't I? I read that somewhere. Read stories from ebooks. Reading skills, reading skills. Hmm. Can can you see anything? Can you see what I? Uh, I'm. You know. Can you see anything here? Reading stories from ebooks and watching TV, playing computer games, more positive outcomes. Reading stories enhance the reading skills. Reading ebook. 
can you see anything, some kind of a pattern emerging? So, hmm, let's have a look at the scoring now. Okay. Does it fully address all parts of the task? No. Fully developed uh, position? No. Is it clear? Fully No. It says the same thing again and again and again. Relevant, well-supported ideas? No. Clear position? Well, the position is clear. Reading ebooks instead of watching computer games, but you say the same thing with no real reason. Assertion is not an argument. Repetitive. I think that's pretty fair. Well, there is no evidence. Simple assertion is not an argument. Simple assertion, not an argument. Well, some repetition, possibly, quite possibly. So, you know, Mm, what's the examiner going to uh, to do? Six or five? Mm, well, be generous. We'll give it six. Now, cohesion. Is there... We'll start uh, at, um, at six. Is there the clear overall progression? No. Because you're saying the same thing over and over. Repetition. Repetition. You're saying the same thing over and over. Clear central topic, logical sequence, flexible cohesion devices, mm -hmm. lack of overall progression. Well, saying the same thing, was it six or seven times? Uh, hmm, repetitive, repetitive. So I think we can give it five. So I give it six, five. Limited range of vocabulary, appropriate. Adequate range, less common vocab, or no, because you say the same, right. Rather restricted range, lack of precision. Well, when you're saying reading skills, reading skills, reading skills, when you're saying the same thing five or six times, uh, I, yeah, okay, make it six. So I give it six, five, six. The grammar... Well, you count the sentences. It's the sentences that you have without a mistake. The actual, the grammar here is not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, you know, not many grammatical mistakes uh, here. Some, uh, I think, do we have complex structures, frequent error-free sentences? Some errors in grammar, complex structures, mix of simple kind. I would give it six. So I would give it six five five six. Or did I say six five five six? What did I say? No, no, six. Yeah, yeah. So six. What did I say again? Okay, okay. Well, I'll just give it six. Six across the board. Six 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 six. Because. Again, if we take a look at it, you know, uh, there's no clear examples here. It's very general. You say the same thing time and time again. Lack of progress. Task response is not so good. The grammar's not too bad. The vocab, repetition, repetition. I think you would be doing quite well to get six for this essay. Okay, I don't want to be overly harsh, but um, you give me no choice based on that. Okay, I hope that helps.